Well, hello everyone and welcome to or back to Lifestyle Makes Sense. I am Melissa and today I'm going to be doing some midis. And just to let you know, this money that I'm using to stuff these minis with, is coming from side hustles. You know, my bartending, I have bartending gigs, and I also do some event planning. I do a little interior decorating. Yes, I am truly a jack of most trades, most trades. That's what I use as side hustle money, including this YouTube channel. So I recently got a check from YouTube and that's also what I'll be using to help fund some of these mini challenges. Now, why am I doing these mini challenges when I normally don't do mini challenges? Well, I was influenced by an influencer or a budget content creator. Her name also is Melissa and she's has a channel at budget stuff save repeat if you haven't seen her haven't heard of her please go check her out she's so motivating so encouraging she's dedicated and she's organized all the things that i want to be when i grow up ah <laughs> so today what i will be doing is stuffing some funds that went to the bank and i thought about this carefully so i've planned this out this is not this is not a random. This is this is what I, I literally counted out. I planned how I needed the teller to give it to me back um, because I'm doing these mini challenges and with mini challenges, I'm trying to fill up my 64 pages in my mini book, okay? So I have done five challenges and today I'm gonna do an undisclosed number of mini challenges. Yay! So wait and see for that. Last time when I left off, I left off with some challenges I had received from Budgeting with Jenny. I always leave the, the um, link in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these challenges, please, please, please go and support these small businesses. Y'all know I am a true fan of supporting small businesses businesses i love it there's an i would rather shop with a small business than a large business any day so please support them and what they're asking for these digital downloads is not gonna break your bank okay set aside a dollar two dollars five dollars you probably can walk away with five or ten challenges with five dollars so come on now help support these small businesses today i'm going to be do doing one that's from i'm going to be doing a few but this one that I'm starting out with, I know you probably have seen her page, Salisa over at Beautifully Me and You. I actually purchased one of her Easy Cash um, Weekly Extended Budget Planners. And inside of the planner, she lists, of course, the planning things, the dated uh, calendars and all, the undated calendars and all of that. But she also has some savings challenges that I never completed. I never completed them, but I still have them in my daily down, my download. So I could print them out whenever I choose to do so. And today is that day. Today is that day. I'm going to be stuffing um, some money into this challenge and putting it into my um, mini savings challenge challenge okay i have to do 64 mini savings challenges and when i finish the 64 mini savings challenges then i will empty this and count it but i've only done five so far so i gotta i gotta keep pace i gotta keep pace and hopefully money will keep coming in from a little bit of here a little bit of there a little bit of everywhere and i can get it done because if side hustle money don't come in then i really can't do this challenge because i've dedicated my regular income to my main challenges does that make sense i hope so so let's get into how much i have today that's 50 and 1 20 40 60 82 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 309 dollars. Now I know you're saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, as my um little niece would say when she was younger. Wait a minute. This say, let's say 450 dollars. Well, because 
it's $450. That to me is not a mini challenge. That that don't qualify as a mini challenge. But I'm going to make it into a mini challenge and that means I won't be saving $450. Now, this is a great challenge if you do want to save and start small because she start with numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 9 and you can save like that. Um and it's very good. It's, it's a good way to start saving if you don't have much money to spare, okay? So this is a good challenge for beginners if you don't have much money to spare. You can save a quick $450 over time by saving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over time. But we won't be doing that. So we're gonna do it a different way. I'm gonna count, um, I think I got at least six challenges out of this one challenge. I'm going to grab my one of my highlighters. I use the Fusion. I saw it being used on one of the budgeters channels and I was like, I need that. It's erasable. I love the way they write and I'm into it. But they're not for coloring. I'm not a colorer. As I said on plenty of the videos, I'm not a colorer. I'm going to have to take this ring off because it won't allow me to get bare minimum on this page. So the first challenge that we're going to do from this uh, $450 challenge is we're going to do all the ones. So we're going to color in the ones. This one, two, and I hope you guys can see that. One, two, three, four. And see, I don't want this to use up my highlighter ink. So five. Da, 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 da. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we have ten ones, and that's gonna be my sixth challenge a ten dollar bill. Y'all, we are all over the place with this challenge. We're not gonna know how much money we save at the end of the 64 challenges, and that's a good thing. I love that. I love not knowing. So on to challenge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. We're on challenge number seven. Okay, let me grab a pen. We're going to do the twos the same way. So let's go. All right, there's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and nine okay it's only nine wait a minute let me see let me make sure i ain't missing that because you know y'all be telling me in the comments and emailing me and let me know did i miss something right there right there right there 10 all right 20. remember i told y'all i came prepared for this challenge so i'm knowing how much that's supposed to have in these envelopes $20 go into our next challenge. All right, let's go to challenge number eight. That's going to be our threes. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine uh oh ten one two three wait did i do threes one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten uh oh i know i already made a mistake y'all because i only counted nine threes on here when I was preparing for this and I only have $27 to go in here and I'm not doing no IOUs. I'm just not. So 27 it is, let me see, what would that be? $30? Um, let me look at my wallet right quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so <laughs> I do have a five in my wallet. Man, that's for my breakfast. So these twos will go back to my wallet. <gasps> the things, the trouble I see. 
Oh goodness, let me make sure. Cause I thought I had counted. So $30 would go in here. I miscounted. So $30 instead of $27 will go in there. So there we go. Anyway, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Challenge number nine. Challenge number nine is going to be, guess what? The fours. It's going to be the fours. And by the looks of it, she have like um, 10 of each. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah. So that's $40 that will go into here. Do y'all see how I'm doing it? Like, do y'all get the gist of how I'm doing these, breaking this big challenge down into a mini challenge? So say for instance, you were doing this challenge and you weren't doing it like all at once, you could easily create this challenge into a mini challenge by choosing one or two numbers at a time or like I'm doing, sequencing it, do all the ones, do all the twos, do all the threes like that, you know, you could easily make this challenge into a mini challenge like I'm doing. Let's move on to these fives, honey. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay, 50. Thus comes the 50 and it will go in here it will go in here all right we're moving right along ah! so the last number that I'm going to do on this page because I only want it to do one through five but then I'm going to jump to number nine because that's the highest number on this sheet and so I'm gonna jump to number nine and that'll be our last mini for this $450 challenge, which didn't save us $450. Y'all get it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so 10 times 9 is 90, and we should have that here, 50, 70, and 90. I, am, I see why they like the mini challenges so much. It's kind of fun because you get finished with them. You know, you feel when you finish a challenge, any challenge, whether it's a mini or an expanded challenge, when, when you finish a challenge, it's so, so satisfying. So... I see why they like the minis because you get to go ahead and finish the challenges. And I have gotten some of your emails with your shop links. I'll let you guys know in the future which ones I will buy, what I have purchased, because I do need the other 30 something challenges to finish my 64 challenge book. So thank you guys for sharing those with me. And that's going to complete this one. Um, I'll have to go back and write. This was challenge number, let's see. The last challenge was number five we did. So this was challenge number one, two, three, four, five, nine. So challenge six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So six through eleven. Yay! Six through eleven has been completed on this. Now, this was also in my um, weekly expense planner from Salisa over at Beautifully Me and You. And um, what I'm going to do, so this has 42 hearts, according to her. I have not counted them, but I'm going to trust her on this. 42 hearts, and I can make my hearts whatever I choose to make them as. And I'm going to make my hearts $1.00. And that means 
I will have $42 as this mini challenge. Now you can make this challenge be whatever you want it to be, but for me, since it's a mini challenge, I'm gonna make each heart $42, I'm, I'm sorry, a dollar, and that'll equal $42. So let's count up $42, 20, 40, 41, and 42. Yeah, I can totally see why this is a fulfilling challenge to do minis. I can totally see that. Now, if y'all think I'm fixing to sit here and color in these hearts, y'all sadly mistaken. I'm finna check mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, and forty two. Yay! That's as good as I can do. <laughs> y'all gonna have to like it, okay? Now this is a challenge that I did in the past when we were headed to Canada. I ordered these from Unpetite Budget. And I'll link her information in the description as well. But I did this challenge when I was on my way to Canada because I just, I thought it was a good challenge to do. And I actually did my budget based on these challenges. I ordered a couple from her and um, I used them in order to do my budget with for my Canadian dollars that I had. It was very fun. And even though I'm not working with Canadian money today, it is fives, tens, and twenties listed on this challenge. So I felt like today I could do all the fives, then another day do the twenties, then another day do the tens. And that'll be three challenges balled up into one, making this a small, a mini challenge worthy challenge, okay? So let's do all the fives first. And I probably can't color in these little squares. This is not a big, tremendous job. So we got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So we have 30, and I will continue this one. I'll continue this one. All right, number 12 equals $30. I'll do the 10s, and I'll do the 20s. And those will be two separate ch challenges within themselves. Now, this entire challenge is supposed to save you $250. And that's doable for me for a mini challenge. But I break, I'm breaking it down. I'm not doing it all at once. And that's what you can do. You can feel free to break it down all at once or do two at a time. Like do a row. If you do this row, that's 15. Do that row, that's 30. Go back to this row, that's 25. This row is 15. You don't have to do it like I'm doing it. But to create a mini challenge, don't be... Don't be overwhelmed by seeing all of this, okay? You can break it down to save whatever is according to you and your funds and your budget, okay? So don't feel, you know, intimidated by seeing a big challenge. You can always break it down. There are no rules. The rules are what you make it. You make your own rules, okay? So for this challenge, we're going to save $30, And for those of you, if you've been keeping up with how much our challenges are, man, you good. Because I have not been keeping it up. I have not. The only reason why I'm writing out $30 here is so I know when I come back that I've already put $30 in there. And then I have my 10s and 20s to go. So we have so far completed 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 challenges and didn't I tell y'all this book was gonna poof out it's poofing it's poofing it's like it's pregnant it's poofing she probably two months now <laughs> but anywho you guys that's it for me and I hope you have a grand day night whatever time it is wherever you are watching this video if you have not liked and shared and especially subscribed to my channel you're here so you might as well subscribe. Go ahead, it don't cost you anything. Don't cost you anything. Just subscribe and I would appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Also come back to see me try to finish up the rest of these 64 challenges. Continue to email me your um, shop sites because I have not begun to shop yet, 
but I will because I need 30 more challenges to finish up my 64 mini week challenge. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye you guys.